On February 12, 1909, the U.S. Post Office issued a set of stamps commemorating the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. These were America's first definitive-sized commemoratives. One year after Lincoln's assassination, the post office issued its first stamp honoring the fallen president. That black 1866 issue is considered America's first mourning stamp. From then until 1907, there was always at least one definitive picturing Lincoln. Then in 1908, the post office introduced the Washington Franklins, a long-running series that only featured the portraits of George Washington and Benjamin Franklin. There was some public outcry, as some felt that Lincoln should always be honored on U.S. stamps. Luckily, they didn't have to wait long to get a new stamp. On February 12, 1909, the post office issued the first of three Lincoln Memorial stamps on what would have been his 100th birthday. The stamps all featured the same design, based on a statue of Lincoln located in Chicago's Grant Park. The stamps didn't include Lincoln's name, but did include his birth date, birth year, and the year of issue. The stamps were the first definitive size commemoratives, and their two-cent denomination, the rate for a single ounce, first-class letter, made them the first Lincoln stamps to see usage on regular mail in the U.S. Additionally, these were the first U.S. commemoratives issued in just one denomination. Previous commemoratives were produced in multiple denominations to meet a variety of postal services. In all, the Lincoln Memorial issue consisted of three stamps, a Perf-12 stamp, an imperforate stamp, and one printed on experimental bluish-gray paper, also perforated 12. The bluish-gray paper was created to combat waste caused by paper shrinkage and irregular perforations. The Bureau of Engraving and Printing changed the composition of the paper by adding 35% wool rag to the wood pulp, which gave them a bluish tint. Lincoln returned to definitive stamps on February 12, 1923, after the post office ended the Washington Franklin series, and he reappeared on commemoratives in 1959 on a set of stamps issued to mark the 150th anniversary of his birth. The first of those stamps was issued on his birthday, February 12. Fifty years later, Lincoln was honored with another set of stamps honoring his 200th birthday in 2009. It's interesting to note that over the years, several Lincoln definitives were also issued on November 19th, the date of Lincoln's Gettysburg Address.